Hi there, welcome back. So let's move to part four of this tutorial, the tutorial three of the first model. So in this one, what we're going to do is map the solution from a coarse mesh to the finer mesh, okay? So basically what we're going to do here, you have this case in, in C6, okay? So we're going to use this new utility that we're going to introduce this new program called map fields that we use to do mapping, okay? So the mapping can be from a coarse mesh to a finer mesh, to, from a finer to a coarser. By the way, I don't see any reason why to do that or the same mesh. But usually you use this one if you have the quartz to finer mesh, okay? And you can use it with any solver, okay? So in this case, we're going to, to, to use Icophone, but I want to remind you that let's start to move away from Icophone and, and use Pisophone. So remember that Icophone, uh, it has many limitations, okay? So it's better to use piece of phone, pimple phone, and stuff like that. So these are the steps and how the, the tool map fields is used in the, in the following way, okay? So this is map fields. You need to give the path where you have the case. So you need to have a case where you have the solution. So in this case, we're mapping from C4. C4 was the previous one where we have a potential phone, but also, we're going to do it from C3. So I hope you have the solution there. Or maybe you don't need it because already you have a pre-computed solution there. And the, solu the auction consistent means that the, the, mesh, the domains are exactly the same, same dimensions, OK? Do not use function object. This is the mapping method. So remember that you are interpolating different meshes. So you need to, do a, to use an interpolation method. There are different methods. Probably, I think, in my opinion, this is the best one, but you can give it a try. And then you can choose the source time. Okay, So you have the case in C4. You say that, and we have seen that in C4, we use potential phone. The solution is safe in source time zero. So you put it here. If you have the solution in, in 100, put 100, or you can use latest time. We're going to see that later. So a few comments now on how to use map fill. And this is what is happening. Quartz mesh, finer, finer mesh. So you compute the solution here, and then you interpolate it here. So usually in a quartz mesh, it's better affordable. You get fast solutions. And not necessarily you need to go for, for, for millimetric precision. OK, you just need a solution, a good so initial solution that you can use as initial condition for this one so you map here means that you interpolate and then you keep running here okay so let's see what is going on here how to do this so as you go into c6 you are going to find this script first so this script means that we're just mapping the solution from whatever we have in c3 from whatever we have in c4 and this will run the solver. As I say, let's start better to start to transition to piece of phone, okay, instead of icophone. So I will set up that here. So the setup is exactly the same. So remember that if you do this mapping, you need to, ha to, to have, oh, by the way, let me erase zero, also erase zero, you need zero there. Okay, so you need to have same, same boundary conditions, okay, the same type. So you go to system, okay, see that you have a standard set up okay we don't need to do anything there so let's run first let's map the solution from c4 so important that you need to have a solution there so let me go back as this case is fast okay run solver potential uh, of9 and we have the solution there okay so now I can do my mapping so I'm not going to run the automatic script. I'm going to do it a step by step on, on the screen. OK, so see here that first we generate the mesh. So let me go here, do some cleaning, moving some files. OK, so when you see this one, just moving some control D, uh, predefined setup. OK, this is not important. This is important stuff. So see that we're interpolating whatever we have in C4. So remember, we're in C6, go one directory back in C4 you're going to have the solution that we just computed. Consistent, no functional object. This is the mapping method, source time. Or you can go for the latest time. So let me go here. So if I copy this one and I put it here, see what is happening. That you are interpolating the source mesh, the one in C4, you have this number of cells. And the one in C6, you have this number of cells. So what you are doing is interpolating whatever you have in C4 to this directory. Something very important. So you are going to interpolate everything that you have here in C4. So usually you only want to interpolate 
the fields variables, U and P, and probably the, tor the tolling quantities. So usually what you do is just erase these variables, just keep the variables that you need, okay? So probably here you can have UP, mean quantities, erase everything that you, you don't need and just interpolate the ones that you are really interested in, okay? So see that if I rerun again, See that it's only interpolating U and P. Okay, so this is very important because sometimes you take solution from, from, from another directory and just to show you that I already have an also solution here in C2. See that you have here P mean, P prime, U mean. You are going to interpolate also these quantities. And usually you are in, not interested in that. You just need U, P, probably T, you have rho or, or alpha if you have multiphase. Okay, so have that in mind. Okay, so now if I go here, Paraphon, see that after doing that interpolation, basically in your, new, in your new mesh, and just to show you that this is a much finer mesh, you interpolated the solution that you had in the other case. Okay, so you have the fields, and now you can start from this. Okay, so quartz mesh to finer mesh. Remember that it works the other, all the way around or same meshes. Okay, and Let's use now the other script, this one, C3. So in C see here that you have all these steps. So in C3, in your cases, you are going to find this one here. You already have a solution there. And just look at that, you have the solution. Already clean out the data here, and you just have U and P. But as you run the solution, you will see that there you have P mean, all those variables are already clean out. So this script will do that. Okay, generate the mesh. Okay, so let me put it here okay so these are just moving fast the interesting step here is this one so see that here map fields where do you have the solution in c3 take the latest time so that times must be available here so see that you have that time consistent use this method and that's all okay so let me copy here and you go like this and see that now c3 c6 so the target time is zero. So you are interpolating in zero. So now you put the solution in your case zero and your source case was target time to hundred. Okay, so see that there are different meshes and we're only interpolating U and P, okay? Remember, you need to clean out that data because most of the time you don't want to interpolate all the fields. So if I go here now, Paraphone, see that what we did is that we interpolate from a coarser mesh to a finer mesh. This is a much finer mesh, that solution. And then we can start to compute from here, okay? So the coarse mesh, is, it is an inexpensive solution. This one will be an expensive one. So let me run the solver now. So after you do the mapping, so your steps is you want to do it automatically will be like this, run map from C3. So this one is doing just the mapping. So now that you have the mapping, you can run the solver, okay? And it will run Pisophone, okay? So let's let's get get used to Pisophone, okay? And let's move away from from Icophone, okay? So let's see that it's running, okay? It's smoothly. It's much slower. You will realize of that because we have a much finer mesh. Also, pay attention that in this case you need also to adjust your delta t because you have a smaller cell, so that will have an influence on your CFL number. It's up to you, okay? But just an, an advice. And let it, okay. We'll let it run a few more times. Steps. I will stop it in five. Okay, the brutal way, and see that what we're doing basically here so this here in time zero is the solution interpolated from a quartz mesh and from this point on now you are computing in the finer mesh okay so another trick now to accelerate the convergence rate okay so usually especially when you are doing less simulation turbulence models you compute a run solution in a quartz mesh so you get a good feel there and then you interpolate that into a much finer mesh and set out your your less models model. So okay, that's all for for this case. So so far we have done a lot. Okay, so the next two cases we're going to look at different physics. So now we have been looking just at 
laminar case using icof on this one we use spice on the next one i will introduce you a little bit turbulence modeling what are the difference and then also running using a compressible solver okay so that's all for this for the moment thank you very much see you in next video bye